Wagwan people, welcome and welcome back to our entertaining viewers. So the opposition spokesman on finance and public services, Julian Robinson, is calling on the Auditor General to conduct a special audit of the operations at the Financial Services Commission, FSC. Robinson said the the audit can be effective in restoring public confidence in the financial sector. People want to listen carefully and tell me what to think. The following is a release from the People's National Party Media Unit. The opposition People's National Party is calling on the Auditor General to conduct a special audit on the operations of the Financial Services Commission. The purpose of this audit would be to determine the effectiveness and propriety of the decision-making functions and conduct within the FSC in carrying out its statutory mandate. This should include examining the relationship between the staff and the board in relation to the regulatory performance of the entity. The opposition cause comes against the background of the apparent inaction of the FSC in addressing issues at Stocks and Securities Limited after its own damning report of 2017, which highlighted widespread breaches and irregularities at SSL. The audit should have regard to the FSC's conduct with respect to other entities where regulatory actions have also been taken. The audit should make recommendations about the appropriateness and competence of the FSC's past and present board of directors, the adequacy and appropriateness of the FSC's staffing and technical expertise with the aim of ensuring that the FSC is able to carry out its regulatory oversight functions effectively with respect to non-deposit taking financial institutions. It is critical that all efforts are made to restore public confidence in the capacity of the FSC to provide regulatory oversight in the financial services industry. The public needs to know, one, what recommendations were made by the FSC for implementation by SSL after the 2017 report. Were these recommendations implemented? Were there follow-up audits by the S of the SSL by the FSC to ensure compliance with these directives? Were actions recommended by the staff of the FSC which were not supported by the board? And why did the FSC fail to take appropriate regu regulatory enforcement measures in a timely manner given SSL's history of serious breaches within the context of actions that have been taken against other entities where breaches have been identified. The opposition is also calling on the government to engage international forensic expertise as a matter of urgency to supplement and support the work of local law enforcement. Specifically, forensic accounting and cybersecurity expertise should be engaged. This must be done to ensure that funds stolen from customers of SSL can be traced and recovered wherever they may be and to restore the reputation of Jamaica's financial sector, which has been tarnished by this massive fraud at SSL. To read the full release, visit our website at pnp.org.jm or check us out on Facebook at Jamaica PNP.